Jeez. I need to shave. What's up YouTube and welcome back to another video. Just gonna make breakfast, but it's gonna be something different. Today I'm gonna attempt to make a protein pancake. The last two times I've made this, I've actually failed and it's been so bad. Every time I make it, it gets stuck on the pan, which is so annoying. So I'm gonna try and attempt to make it again. So for these ingredients, I've got, I've got two eggs, I've got milk, oats, um, I'm still debating if I'm going to use this or not because the last two times I've used protein pancakes it's kind of gone and fail so I'm not too sure if I'm going to use this or mix it up with Impact Way with Rocky Road I'm hoping it's going to turn out well because I'm actually quite hungry so obviously the basics you're going to need obviously a scale and obviously a blender so I'm going to have 50 grams of oats if I don't spill it everywhere constantly spilling it yeah, 58 is fine Two large eggs. So what I put in salmon, I have a half a scoop of whey protein and a half a scoop of protein pancake mix. So there. I'm gonna blend this up, then I'm gonna see the consistency, it whether if I need milk or not. Literally have no clue if this is right or not. But <laughs> I'm gonna leave it like that. So I'm gonna put it straight in the pan. I'm hoping, hoping this is going to be okay. Okay, this is the part that I found last time. The last time I tried to flip this, it just got stuck everywhere, so I'm hoping it's been good. Oh shit. Whoopsie. It's like a five year old. So I'm going to finish this right now. I'm probably going to get another two or three of these. Oh my god. No! Stop it last time! Oh, you are serious. Oh my god. That was such a fail. Fail. Look at that pancake. I've chopped them up because so I can pretend in my mind there's a lot more, even though there's only two slices. I'm going to have with it. Maple syrup sugar free. I wasn't just gonna have this, but instead I'm gonna have it with also apple and cinnamon. So now that looks better. That's the apple one. It kind of goes like a little massive blobs, and compared to the maple, it looks a lot more smoother. The moment of truth. I'm gonna get, grab this one. Mm. It's very plain and. The pancake's like rubbery, as you can probably tell from right there. It looks dry. It's about a 5 out of 10, so I just need to learn how to make it properly because I'm not too good at making pancakes, as you can see. So I'm going to finish this off and I'll have to catch you later. It's just coming back to 1 o'clock now. I need to go straight to the gym, train legs. And after when I finish gym, I'm going to have to meet Mark at Costa. If you don't remember Mark, Mark's a person that I spoke to about competing about for about four or five months ago. I've decided that I'm gonna actually compete on the 1st of April for Pure Elite. So obviously we're gonna go through the prep and obviously the diet, the training and all that stuff and go through it. So we're gonna see how that goes and obviously we're gonna find out when I should actually start cutting and finish my bulk. And also when I'm gonna start cutting as well. So everything I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna find out today. And after straight away me tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go straight away to the chiropractor. Because I would go to gym later, but I've been told that I can't actually work out after the chiropractor. So I'm gonna have to train legs before.
Okay, just finished speaking to Mark. It's been like an hour and a half. The plan is what we're going to do is the first month from November to December, I'm going to stick to my exact same macros, but tweaking it a little bit. Because I've been taking about 540 grams of carbs. He wanted me to reduce that to 500 and bump up my protein to 220. So that's that for nutrition. So the first month, I'm sticking to exact same calories, but just tweaking it a little bit. But then after we'll be reducing the macros, but not too drastically, because if you do it too drastically, because it's most likely you'll be dropping muscle weight, and that's what you don't want when you're cutting. When it comes to training, I'm gonna train with him once a week at his gym, and I think it's called Forest Gym. It's like an old school gym. I've been told to go there before because it's apparently it's like really, really like hardcore stuff. And it's a good thing because enough that so it's gonna take you out of your comfort zone. So it's gonna be quite good training with him once a week. And obviously he's gonna go fly. So obviously once a week he'll be training with me and he's gonna go through with me the poses and that stuff. Yeah, so I'm actually excited to train with him. So I'm hoping I'm off to the chiropractor now because I've got about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes left. Okay, just finished with the chiropractor. That was actually quite good because the first ever time that I came here, it was with someone else and the today who actually was with it was an actual man it was the actual manager who actually owned the place which is good the bad thing is i was able to call because the first ever time when i got here people are screaming which is not good because the first ever time when i went there i asked the chiropractor if i was able to record but he said i wasn't then after that's why i didn't well, that's why i wasn't able to record but as soon as I finished my session, I asked it, was I able to record? And he was like, yes, you are. He owns the place. So I was so God's I was like, why? Why did I not record? So I'm hoping next time, I just went to a dead end. Uh, yeah. So I'm hoping next time when I go there, I'm able to record. But I was actually able to get the x-ray, which was a plus, because as you can see in the photo, well, as you can see in the video, my spine is very tilted, so I need to get that sorted out. This guy was actually quite really, really intelligent, which was really good, and it was very, very helpful. So I'm very, very grateful that he was actually helping me. I have to come back again. I have to, he told me I have to come three times a week for a month. Then after, I think, the second month, I have to come, I think, twice a week. Well, it is going to be expensive, but at the end, I need to get it sorted out before the competition. Okay. I'm going to head into town, get some sort of either parasite or something because I don't feel well, as you can tell from my voice. I've been ill for about a week now, which is not good. And get some food for my girlfriend as well because she needs to get some food. And it's like, guys, I'm probably staring at me. But it's fine. Everyone's like staring at me. Who cares? So I need to get food for my girlfriend as well because she's going to get a haircut. So I'm going to see you in a minute. So I'll catch you in a second. Okay, I just got home from town. I was going to go to Boots, but I called my mum just in case if I had anything to sort out my throat and my cold. And apparently I do, so luckily I didn't buy nothing. And I was going to buy something in Boots for my girlfriend, but there was nothing there. So instead, I went to the new sports shop to buy some protein bars, because I knew my girlfriend wanted one. So I'm going to show you what I brought. This massive pizza, literally is so massive. I'm actually going to step back. That massive pizza. It has eight hundred. well... There you go, 895 grams. Then after I got this, chicken and bacon pasta for my girlfriend. I know she's gonna like that because she loves bacon so much. And instead of getting a monster, I thought to get a Rockstar Punch. It is actually zero calories. So I'm actually hoping this is gonna be nice. Zero, so I'm hoping that's gonna be nice. I'm gonna make food right now, so I'm gonna have 100 grams of Cheerios. Then I'm gonna see my girlfriend straight away from the hairdressers. Better get moving on because I've got about 20 minutes before she gets there, so chop chop. Okay, just met my girlfriend right now. Apparently she's gonna take about two hours, so she's letting me her car, so I'll probably just meet my friend Ricardo for a bit, maybe meet the others, and after meet my girlfriend again and pick her up. And I'm hoping we're gonna get something to eat later because my friend said that he wanted to eat. Oh, also, that Rockstar drink, um, not good. I regret buying it, it was not, it had a really funny taste to it, so, so next time I know not to buy it. Okay, after two and a half hours later, she finally came home. She went about five o'clock and it's already eight o'clock. She got back about half seven. So she finally finished her hair and this is what she has now. Show me your hair. And she is ecstatic. Papa's so happy. She only paid 70 pounds and I think first time it was 25% off or 20? 25. 25% off and she only paid 70 pounds. She got a haircut dried it, dyed it, and that's very cheap, for, especially for a girl. 
Hey, my, my friend Ricardo was like, oh, so we'll try to pay for it. Zero. Because he just shaves off. But it's cool though, very nice. So we're gonna head off straight away to TGI Fridays to meet the other three, three? One, two, three, yeah, three of our friends and get food because we're all starving. It's 10.30, we was waiting for about two hours. It was really, really, really busy. So, I am tired, my girlfriend's tired. I'm gonna end this video. Hope you enjoy it, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.